Hey everybody, welcome to another Money Reviews. Today we are checking out this here light, uh, strobe safety light thing from Olight. It's the Olight Gober or Goober. I, I like to call it a Goober. I don't know if that's what it's called. Probably Gober. Uh, when you get it, it comes in this box here. You've got your forbidden candy. And you got this nice little box. Uh, you got this nice little QR code right there. You know how we do. We're going to show you where that goes. You do have a two-year warranty on this bad boy. That's kind of cool. And then they give you your little elevator pitch on the back, your little spiel, telling you about how it's got three LEDs, it's got a lion battery that's rechargeable with 28 hours of maximum runtime, and a molly clip for the backpack. They call it a molly clip. So that tells me they're aiming this at uh, us mill sim and military folks, not just backpackers. Nice instruction booklet with 17 different languages. So they really want to get this in as many hands as possible. Good on you, Olight. I think that's pretty rad. In the box, it tells you you got the Goober Gober USB-C backpack clip. Got a little specifications here. It tells you the modes, constant on, flashing, RGB transition, and SOS. Actual flashes and Morse code SOS. IPX4 weather resistancy. So you can set this guy in your kit and leave it. Not worry about it getting messed up by the rain. Constant on mode. You got about 11 hours of use out of a full charge. Flashing mode, 21.5 hours. RGB transition, about 28 hours. And SOS, about 25 hours. Pretty cool. Uh, installation is a pe uh, breeze. Tells you here how to do it. It does recommend you fully charge it about an hour and a half when you first get it. I did do that. Um, not a problem. And then, uh, you know, your basic boilerplate telling you if you hurt yourself using this light, they're not responsible. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get this out of here. Talk about the light. So you got this cable here. Not too small. It's a good size. Yeah. When they say it's a good size, it means it's small. Uh, oh, though, we do have these caps. I left the caps on. I'm going to keep the caps on. It keeps me from getting uh, dirt in my tips. Nobody likes dirt in your tips. The light itself is nice. It's a little uh, little thing here. So I, I showed you in the directions. It says, you know, boop, turn it one different one direction. Bam, it's on. Well, it's not 100%. You can go either way and lock it in. So, blah, blah, blah. When you have it in, you take it here. It's a little bayonet lug. You put it in, boop, in my clip. So you are got your power button right here, right? You got your little line facing down. If you turn it, quarter turn, the line is now facing at roughly 7 o'clock position. Well, you can do another quarter turn this way. The line is facing at roughly the five o'clock position. It's still locked in. As long as it's facing not straight down, it's locked in. If it's facing straight down and you go to walk away, you're like, cool, I put my light in my clip. It's gonna come out. And then you're not gonna have a good time. Or if you have it straight up and down, let's say, you, let's say you're a guy that wants it this way, your line straight up and down in your semicircle, then it's the, of course, one o'clock, 11 o'clock. But either way, as long as it's turned, it's locked in. If it's up or down, depending on how you have the light, it's not locked in. So keep that in mind. Anyway, enough of that. So light's locked in, it's good to go, it's not going anywhere. Your modes, hold the button all the way down to turn it on. It's on green right now. So we got a green solid. Now, if I wanna change colors, now this is where this light gets really cool, guys. Solid color, we got green. Quick, fast clip. Oh, now we got a blue light. Pretty rad, but I don't want blue. Quick click, now I have a white light. Uh, that's not cool for me. Quick click. Now I've got an oscillating light between RGB, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, nope, fuck that noise. But now I got a red light. Now I'm tactical, uh, but I don't want that either. Back to green. Two clicks. Now I'm flashing. Same premise though. One fast click. I'm still flashing. I'm blue. I'm white. I'm red. Same thing. Three clicks. I'm SOS. SOS is always red. I guess red means help me, danger, whatever. So SOS is always red. So you're never going to get blue SOS, green SOS, white SOS. It's always going to be the red light. And then... One more click, it just went back to this. Off.
two, I'm solid again. And then from solid, one single click, change my colors, and that's where you get the oscillating from the solid light, fast single clicks. And that's pretty much how the light works. Very simple to use, very neat. So where do these colors come into play, in my opinion, where I think they're really neat? Well, let's say you are going to use this for Airsoft. Indoor, at an indoor game, you could use these at, for marking teams. You get a handful of these lights, and you can mark your teams. Uh, red team, green team, blue team, whatever. Or if you were doing an Airsoft game at night, you could use these to mark fire teams. You have, let's say you have eight people on your team. You could have fire team A, four guys, red, fire team B, green. So all your red lights are your fire team A, all your green lights are fire team B. You can keep tabs of each other at night as they're moving. Put these on the backs of their kit, kind of low, so you're not really giving your position away. You're only seeing each other as you're moving forward. Uh, that's a good way of marking each other. Or if you're doing any sort of like mount stuff, it's a way to mark each other inside buildings. I think that's kind of a neat thing to do. You could do this for way of marking friend and foe as well. Um, everybody who's on your team quickly marks themselves with these lights. So if you don't see the light, that's a bad guy. That's a target. Just a thought. Uh, and that can apply to the real world too. That can apply to um, force on force training. A lot, of, a lot of different things. But the fact that you can transition from different colors is pretty neat. And it helps you kind of do marking that way. You can use this as a... I don't know, like a color of the day thing for, for uh, friend or foe marking. Lots of different applications, lots of different things. Great for hikers. Um, for my guys who like to go out and just do touching grass, these things are awesome because you can mark for the same reasoning. You can be like, okay, I know if I see that blue light, that's my buddy. If uh, suddenly I see that blue light tumbling, well, my buddy's now falling down the hill. Maybe he needs help. Uh, you can mark your pets with these. Click on a collar for your dog. If you are a parent like I am, luckily my kids are large now and not little, but if you had little ones like I used to, uh, we used to go play at parks and stuff when they were little near our home, and we always wanted to keep tabs on them. We used to put chem lights on them just so we could keep a, keep an eye on them at night, and when it got really dark, something like this would have been fantastic. We could have clipped this to the back of their shirt and been, boom, okay, that's my oldest son. That's my youngest son, white lights, one of them, you know, red lights, the other one, boom, I know who's who. So I always see these lights running around. I know they're okay. If I don't see the light anymore, uh-oh. Or again, if I see the light tumbling around, uh-oh, he fell down the hill. You know, stuff like that. So it, they have a lot of applications. Keep it in your kit, keep it in your car, fantastic. Now, I rambled on about that too much. Let's talk about how it fits on something. So let's bring out the FCP CV5. You all know it, love it, you've seen it before. And then the clip. So before I put it on, let's look at the clip real quick. So the clip's got this cool little notch thing going up at about a 45 degree angle. Right, right there. You can see it like at the front of my finger. That is great, it's a little tooth. And that catches on your pal's webbing. So once this guy's in here, it's not gonna back out on you. And I've seen a lot of Molly clips that don't have, they have maybe a small little nut lip on the plastic uh, that runs the length, but it's never really long enough and you can always kind of back itself out. That thing's not going anywhere. So Olight, you did a good job on that. Get the light in, boom, you're set. You can leave it, leave it on your kit, take it off, throw it in an admin pouch. I mean, let's, let's just kind of show you. It's small, it's unobtrusive. I can put it in the admin up here. It takes up no space at all in my admin pouch when I need it. Before I before I go decide to go rock up and shoot plastic balls at people, I can uh, with my kit off. I can take it out of the pouch if I know I'm going to be going into a room or doing what I need to do. Blah blah blah. Take it out, put it on my kit. Bam, I can go, or, you know, if I'm going out and I got buddies, I can take it off and be like, do me a solid bro, hand it to him, have him put it on the back. So that's kind of cool, it works out good. Molly Clip's great, it'll fit on backpacks. I actually had this on my backpack when I went up to visit family recently. It was just kind of like chilling on a uh, Alice point on the bag, it fit great. Something to point out, so I got a, ha I got a helmet here. 
head. Um, this is a uh, Ventralize VIP strobe. So the head of this guy is roughly the same size as the VIP, the head of the VIP, as you can see right there. So it's not very big, it's pretty small. And it's not terribly less bright than Get that green back on. It's not terribly less bright than this here Adventure Lights. Oh no, I lied to you. It's a lot less bright, but it's still pretty good. And uh, now that's brighter. I thought I remember it. Jesus. Um, but it's about the same size as the Adventure Light light, as you can see. It's about the same size, and it does what it needs to do. Okay. You could probably also get this onto a helmet if you really wanted to. Uh, take it off. You can put some Velcro on here, clip it on, or find a way to set it up otherwise. I mean, but it's, yeah, more, más or menos, more or less, same size. Pretty great little item. I think this thing is pretty rad. I'm digging it. I'm glad I got it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I got this from them during their little St. Patrick's Day deal they did where they were just doing like a you pay for shipping and you get the light. So I was like, hey, fuck it, why not? Let's check it out. And I'm glad I did. I think it's really great. If you're looking for a inexpensive strobe light that you can throw on your airsoft kit that is weather resistant and will probably be decent, that will give you the ability to run multiple colors. Definitely check this out. I think you'll like it. Even if you don't like the green color, um, I don't know if these were special just for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if they're a normal color they carry. Uh, even if they don't, you could always paint this part to make it blend in with your shit. But as a whole, it's pretty nice. It's really cool. I dig it. I think it's a great light. I think it was definitely worth investing in. And I'm probably going to grab a few more, to be 100% honest with you. They're only, like I said, I, if I remember, they're only around like 15 bucks, so they're not terribly expensive totally worth having. I want to have a couple of these to throw in my Jeep and I want to have a few to toss into bags for the family. I want to grab one for my son to throw on his kit and just have laying around because why not? For that cheap of a price, you can't beat them. As always guys, try some different shit. You might be pleasantly surprised. Stuff like this, a little O light light and get out there, touch grass, go hiking, go get into the, you know, dirt and the earth. Not just when you play Airsoft, but also go play Airsoft because Airsoft's great. As always, LARP smarter, not harder. Try different shit, like I said. You'll be pleasantly surprised. And until next time, take care, and hopefully see you on the field.